Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the CEO of Claris, Brad Freitag. Thank you. Welcome to Claris Engage 2024. It's great to be together as a community celebrating for the first time in the United States since 2019. Because together we create something extraordinary. Our worth is not defined by the Claris platform. Rather, it is defined by the solutions you deliver. Each time your software solves a hard problem, that builds momentum. Our aim is to be more than your tech vendor. It's to be your steady ally, your platform architect, your curriculum designer, and your conduit to more opportunity. Slide issues, there we go. Our job is more than building a platform. It is our job to support your entire journey as a problem solver. Because together, and only together, we rise in the market. A few years ago, we announced three major transformational investments. We were gonna shift our product architecture from on-premise to hybrid cloud, our methods from waterfall to agile, and our brand identity from FileMaker to Claris. After making those announcements, we encountered a pandemic, <laughs> a volatile economy, more recently, an AI-driven paradigm shift in technology that rivals that of mobile or internet of the past. We have built into our operating assumptions that the rate of change will continue to accelerate. We've accepted that as a part of digital transformation. The team responsible for driving these investments are smart, determined, and really talented. Today, you're gonna to hear from our entire executive team, plus a combination of familiar faces, and you'll hear from new voices. It's exciting for us to see new talent developing throughout the organization. All of us operate on guiding principles of transparency, focus, and commitment. And as we've driven those changes throughout or our organization, we recognize how important it is to calibrate these changes with all of you. So we're gonna make a huge effort throughout Engage, including today, to make sure we accomplish that. We'll talk specifically about vision and we'll separate that from our plan. So when we talk about vision, it's our view that we need to build and design an entire platform ecosystem. That includes special focus on our product strategy, significant and continued commitment to FileMaker, expanding the capability through Studio and Connect, building AI into the entirety of the platform, and packaging it in a way that all of our licensed FileMaker customers have access to everything we create. We'll separate that vision, that long-term multi-year roadmap from planning. And when we talk about plan, you can assume and trust more reliability, less ambiguity. We talk about plan, that'll be a one to two quarter horizon. That work has been scoped, resources have been assigned, and if it's in progress, or in a prioritized backlog, you'll be in the know. We'll share this information through a Kanban. Many of you are probably familiar with it. You will get more familiar as we go through this display. You may be wondering, is there a return on these transformational investments? Part of our goal was to become a more flexible, more resilient organization. And I know we've accomplished that. But we also have firm measures of success. I'm really proud to announce a milestone achievement for Claris. Some of you may guess what it is, but as, a, as of our last report, please join me in celebrating 
100 consecutive quarters of profitability. And, and more important than that track record is that we continue to invest and we continue to hire. We have job openings. We're looking for great people. Please send resumes our way. More important than profitability, though, is the endurance of our purpose. What profit guarantees is that we can, we can continue, we can survive. But the essence of our purpose is lived by all of you as developers and by our accounts. And I'm torn in emotion when I, when I watch the work that you do between empathy and inspiration and responsibility. But what we see come to life is really profound. I share here some images that were uh, passed along by Angel City Data and David Knight. Thank you for doing that. This is, these are screenshots from an actual application run by PIN USA. Some of you may have tuned into a webinar we did with Mario, their founder, a few years ago. And what Mario shared was that as an entrepreneur running a design business, he ran into a great problem, which was he couldn't keep up with the demand for their services. So he built a digital solution. It started almost two decades ago. He continues to iterate it, designs it for, for the interface of today, and it's really become the backbone, in his words, of their organization. Every employee touches the solution, gives a visible dashboard for all the work they're doing, uh, they've even affectionately named the system Lola, uh, describing her importance to, to their operation. For us, we see this pattern repeat over and over. Lots of accounts get there, but it takes time. When they get to that point or with this vision, we talk about it as a workplace operating system. That's what it becomes for the organization. And with profitability, with that track record we're talking about, we're able to stand behind promises for all of you to realize that. As well with our transformational investments, we've created ways to incorporate feedback earlier in our product life cycles. We really want to hear from developers and make sure we're doing things the right way as early in the process as possible. What you see from Johan here is just that, his recognition that Claris is having these meetings with us as developers who are the ones actually working with customers. Couldn't have said it any better. Yoris is involved with one of our kitchens. That's language we use if you're not familiar with kitchen for uh, a way to engage our engineers with developers and sort of play with a range of recipes so that we get things right. Yoris is involved with the studio kitchen, was talking about the day-to-day -day things that clients ask for, which in FileMaker are very hard. Our development intention with studio, with all the capabilities we built for that matter, is to address things that are hard for you today and make them easy. And the validation that we're moving that in direct, the right direction is great. And then Richard. <laughs> I hardly need to read the quote, but he's involved with our AI kitchen and has been, I think, sufficiently impressed in, in what's happening and how quickly those AI cap capabilities are getting into the product. Our aim and our expectation for this particular Claris Engage event, the 72 hours we have together in Austin, is that you're able to dive completely into the vision and the plan for our entire platform. So if there, I could have, if I get a sense, a show of hands, how many of you are responsible for a FileMaker solution? <laughs> Pretty easy setup. If, if I could have advise some takeaways, make some asks of you, it would be as you're working through the sessions here, as you're thinking about what's happening with the platform, where we're going, please look for opportunities to either expand your existing FileMaker solution to some new audiences where you can create value for them, to integrate your existing FileMaker solution with other data sources that could enrich what you offer today, or third, to participate in one of these early testing kitchen feedback loops so that you can help 
make sure we create and you influence the right platform. These four sessions were pretty well full, so I think the interest is there. Each would represent the combination of FileMaker, AI, uh, Claris Studio, Claris Connect. If you're not able to or choose not to uh, hit one of these sessions, please try to catch this on the recording afterwards. So the agenda for today, we're gonna talk through three different areas, growth, enablement, and build. Build is emphasis on the actual platform itself, so we've allocated more, a disproportionate amount of time to make sure we're able to cover that. Enablement, we'll talk about training, uh, certifications, how we're thinking about uh, ongoing enablement of your professionalism as, as developers, and then finally, uh, growth, and in fact, we'll start with growth, both for opening new markets and expanding our existing markets. This starts for Claris by recognizing we are the best versions of ourselves when we're tightly aligned with Apple. There's so much opportunity for us. Uh, unfortunately, there aren't enough resources to pursue all of those opportunities. We're trying to be really smart and focused about which ones we pursue so that we get it right. Examples, we're here at Engage in Austin at an Apple event center. And these spaces are, are uh, wonderful. They're great for training. It's a great opportunity for us to, to you know, gather best practices and incorporate some other groups. As a part of that, we've included the Apple Consultants Network. They're uh, sponsoring a booth for this event, and they're focused on driving Apple technologies through professional services providers into the small and medium-sized businesses around the world. A number of Claris partners are already involved with them. Please stop at their booth and, and check in with what they're doing. Other continued investments for us with Apple include operating systems, core ML, chip optimizations. Our data center strategy leverages all of Apple's expertise in security and data privacy in ways we could never create on our own. There are things we're not asking Apple for, and that includes the sponsorship of a Super Bowl. The ROI would be risky at best, it would likely confuse Apple consumers, and none of you want to watch me dance with Rihanna. <laughs> but a collaboration we are continued to focus on, and I would describe this as, as significant an investment Claris has made over, say, the last 18 months, is our relationship between Claris and the Apple School Manager. Apple School Manager is focused on the education market. It's a very important market for us, but it's not our only market. We have significantly more business across small and medium-sized businesses as you cut across different industries. But the opportunity for us here is to build a collaboration that establishes a winning track record and a template, and a template for working with Apple into other markets. And it's going great. <laughs> 